Hello, my name is Troy Gray, and I'm the director of Spindle Talk Lada City Boomtown Museum. And I am standing now in our uh, post office, and it is the post office of Guffey, Texas. And um, we are taking a trip around, looking at different objects. Uh, we'll probably take several trips around the museum, looking at different objects. And today we have something that's uh, kind of uh, love because I love presents. Um, but we'll start here, and this is a, really the first one I'm gonna tell you. I guess we're gonna show it too. But this is over the mail window. And of course it shows the president of the time in 1901, which is William McKinley. Of course, they found the <clears throat> they found the oil in January of 1901. Uh, you can see here that he was first elected in 1896, uh, and he went through a second election in 1900 and defeated. Um, but uh, they found the oil in January 1901. I couldn't find any speeches that William McKinley made about the oil that they found here. But um, <clears throat> kind of coincidentally, in September of 1901, William McKinley becomes the third president assassinated. Of course, this happened in Buffalo, New York. He was uh, at the World's Fair and uh, he was shaking hands and his assassin, Leon Zogos, uh, was actually in line and shot him and um, he died. Uh, so uh, just kind of a, a big um, incident that happened. Uh, of course, his uh, successor was Theodore Roosevelt. So that uh, got Theodore Roosevelt into office. This right here is his uh, memorial picture. Uh, this is all over. You can see different scenes uh, from his life. You can see where um, he is from. Uh, this right here is the Temple of Music where he was shot. Of course, uh, this is the house where he died. So this was a shock because William McKinley was well loved by the people. So um, this would have been in post offices uh, such as the one that uh, was at Guffey because um, people um, loved the president at that time. So. I'm just going to tell you that um, we have opened up the art exhibit uh, at um, Gladys City. Uh, it is in the Caroline Room, so after you pay your admission, you could go in there. You can see the art. There's actually three uh, pieces of art that is um, up for a silent auction, so you can uh, put in there uh, your bids. There's a form to um, fill out, and then on September 26th, we will have the closing ceremony for that um, exhibit. And um, so that is happening. Uh, we are also uh, waiting for the gusher to come back. We have heard that uh, tentatively uh, August 9th it will be back. So uh, we don't have exact dates when we're going to blow it for the public, but we are so happy for Dell chemical and Vista to help us out with that. So that is coming back. Uh, keep, uh, make sure you know when uh, you can have that, um, see that again. Uh, also, September 26th, the same day that we're closing the art exhibit, we are going to have uh, a series starting on that day of open mic nights and family picnic days. So you can bring your family out here. Uh, if you have a talent, you could get up on stage and do that talent. And it should be just a really great time. Of course, they did this back then. Uh, you know, artists and, and, and entertainers did this out in public. So that's kind of what we're reenacting. And But we also have just plenty of land and plenty of opportunity to do that. So if it's not raining, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we may still do it in the um, Caroline room uh, or the uh, saloon. So uh, there are many things coming. Uh, there's also, uh, I put up on Facebook, uh, just um, different events that are starting to uh, come around. Uh, so a lot of our usual events, but it's also new events. So look forward to that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, my talk today about the William McKinley and 
his assassination and why we have a memorial picture. Um, and I will see you next week.